So I was getting a lot of links to uh, this Slayer Exciter circuit. And I look at that and think, well, how does it really work? Not very many people explain well how it works. Um, but there's uh, quite a few videos. Um, this guy, Electro Boom, um, does a pretty good explanation of how it works. Uh, there's a couple others um, that go through it as well. Um, but you see, there's all kinds of YouTube videos where people show you variations on it, and, uh, where to buy kits. So uh, I'm not going to go into duplicating any of that information. What I like to do is uh, maybe show a little bit of spice analysis. Um, one of the common things that gets complained about with some of these is the transistor gets really hot. Um, and in fact, depending on your coils, uh, it probably doesn't last very long. And if I just do a quick run of this basic circuit that you see all over the place, <coughs> excuse me, um, you'll see with these uh, parasitics, your hand, a light, whatever, um, it'll, this variation of the circuit will break into about a one, one and a half megahertz oscillation. Um, somewhere in the order of you know close to 2000 volts uh, but the uh, important part is this transistor um, so if i give you the uh, voltage across the transistor okay it's 18 volts so that's not going to be a problem so much um, and then the uh, current, see over here, uh, 2.7 amps on the current. Well, if we zoom in on that a little bit and figure, hey, let's let Spice do the power. So I'm going to just do that real quick for you. Um, we're going to go in here and just multiply the voltage and the current, and, and Spice will do that. It'll do the integration for you and everything. Um, and if you uh, con control left click on that guy, um, this is telling you that the transistor is going to use six watts of power. Um, if that's really the case, this transistor is not going to last very long at all, because um, they're they're you know they're only good for uh, 800 milliamps according to the Spice model. Well, if you replace that with two and thirty fifty five, and do the same. Thing again and run that. Um, takes a lot longer to reach the final state, so let's uh, let's change the uh, simulation to one millisecond. There we go. And then. Uh, We'll zoom into, say, this area. And now if we control click on that. So with this transistor, um, we're at 888 milliwatts. Um, and the uh, current through the collector has dropped to 1.4 amps so it's not as if you know not as good in some respects in the uh but we still get a pretty good voltage out there 
and um, just for fun, we uh, view the frequency of the waveform. It's about 1.3 megahertz. So that would be an option is to use a different transistor. Um, another option um, would be to replace that transistor with a FET. And we will do something like this. Um, to make this work, you need a FET driver circuit of some kind. And um, this transistor, I, I just kind of arbitrarily picked it out of the built-in SPICE models. And if you <clears throat> if you run that, <clears throat> you'll see you get a little uh, a little bit higher energy. This is yeah, pretty close to the same actually. Um, maybe closer to 2,000 volts instead of 1,800. Um, but this circuit, uh, this transistor, when it's on. Um, so he has a very low impedance. So uh, this guy will not uh, let me just set this up to show you the power. So 900 milliwatts um, would be another way of uh, doing that same thing. And uh, this is a lot smaller transistor, a little harder to work with. I think it's only available in a small service package. Um, but, you know, this, this is another possibility if you wanted to uh, modify that circuit a little bit. And um, so that works pretty well. And finally, there was one other, you know, there's a kit that plays music. And um, so I modeled that circuit up in here. And I just kind of, again, arbitrarily uh, picked a, a FET that looked like it would work. And um, you if you, I didn't build any of these, by the way. Um, so you may, if you do this totally on your own instead of buying a kit, um, I don't know how this will work out for you or not. Um, but if you run this, so if this is your audio input, um, you'll see, uh, just do that. So here's your a one kilohertz waveform that I'm representing your audio input. In the, uh, output of the exciter um, will turn on and off with that one kilohertz input. Um, let me show that a little differently. Um, let's do that. There, now you can see the uh, one kilohertz modulation, of the exciter output. And that's basically how they play music um, because uh, it, if the uh, if the arc is audible, um, you'll hear this modulation. It'll basically play whatever you bring into the audio. Well, that's about it. Um, I'm just, you know, there's a lot you could talk about, um, but like I said, there is tons of videos with lots of really great explanations. Um, I just thought it was kind of fun to show on a spice simulation how this uh, circuit would behave. And uh, if you do get into building your own, this might help you um, pick the right components so that you don't have things that burn themselves up.